Have you lost your Odyssey? You're lost, Odyssey! Welcome back, everybody, to more... Lost Odyssey! And in our last episode, we headed into the Sea of Boz, but why aren't we there? Well, I completely forgot to buy some equipment, so let I'm back in the town real quick. Um, damn it. I just went into the wrong building like an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, we're back in town real quick. Um, I'm going to show you the weapon shop. There are a few new things we can get there. Not much, but something that's going to be pretty vital in our next area. So that's what I'm going to show you. So it's... where's that shop? we got to head through these large doors, which I was at before, but somehow I missed it. Like the derp that I am. And talk to this guy, and you'll need weapons and armor if you want to make it to the Grand Staff. Okay. So, what does he have for sale? Regular items that we could stock up on if we wanted. Oh, oops. Um, I'm actually going to pass on them for now. We could probably... Damn it, stop it. We could probably use some anti-paralysis herbs. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to buy five of them for now. I probably don't really need it, but better safe than sorry. And now we go to weapons. Now, <clears throat> there are two types of weapons we can get at this point in the game. We can get either the sword, which as you can see on the, on the top right... Kaim and uh, Seth can both use it, and it increases their attack by 6 and 8, respectively. And the Saint's Rod, which we could put on Jansen. However, Jansen is not an attacker, and all this affects is the weapon's attack power, so it's really not worth even buying this for Jansen, to be honest. So all we're going to buy is the Lightweight Saber. One, uh, we're going to buy two of them. There we go. We got two now. And if we go to accessories, we're also going to want to buy uh, Antidote Bruche, which grants immunity to poison. That would be a great thing for our immortals to learn. So we're going to go ahead and buy just one of them. Because remember, um, Seth and uh, Kaim can always just learn it. So it's not necessary to buy more than one. And that's it. Everything else looks good. We can also buy spells, but we already found all these spells so it's not really worth it so let's just yeah yeah blah 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 so let's quickly equip what we just got platinum sword will go to the lightweight saber and the white fang will go to the lightweight saber very nice should help them quite a bit all right and they're currently learning two new accessories so i'm not even gonna bother with it and that's about it. So let's head back now to the Sea of Boz and hopefully to Grand Staff. Whew, uh, that was a mouthful. So folks, you might have noticed that my um, commentary might sound a little different. Uh, as well as my video quality it might be slightly different. Uh, someone did complain about... Uh, they said that it seems like I have a slower frame rate, but I really don't notice it. Um... I have an idea to try and fix it, but I don't even know if it's really an issue at this point. I'm guessing it is. I don't know. It's, it looks fine to me, though. Um, so back to the Sea of Boz. And as I was saying, my video commentary might sound a little different, and that's because I did buy a brand new mic. Um, it takes a little getting used to. Like, you can probably tell my voice sounds a little more muffled, but at the same time more clear, so... I'm definitely still getting used to it. Um, it's not a bad mic. It's a Logitech gaming headset, so it's not terrible. But I'm sure I'll, I'll get more and more used to it as we go. Anyways, we are pretty much where we left off now, so let's just continue through this beach line. And I think there's some items we can get here. Let's take but first, the new battle. We get to test our new swords. Oh, that looks bad. All right, so remember utilizing that front and back line thing that we're using? They're all front lines, so we don't have to even worry about that. I'm going to start off by attacking the floating fish. And Jansen will cast a flare on the aquasphere. Let's see. Okay, a little better with the damage. Um, it did increase it by eh, quite a bit. Nothing too spectacular, but 
there's definitely a noticeable difference. Oh no, you can attack faster! Oh my god, Jansen didn't kill him, really? Okay, you can finish him off, you can finish him off. Flare. There you go, very nice. I am getting a little better with the accuracy of uh, my bruiser ring, but I'm still not perfect by any means in it. Oh my god, that actually did a lot of damage. But as you can see at this point, Jansen is clearly my strongest character in the game. Ooh, nice XP. No one learned anything, so we move on. Now I think there's a treasure on this. I think there's like a abandoned ship or something. Here's one here. With the all shield spell. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. The all shield spell is kind of like casting um, doo -doo 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 -doo, shell in other RPGs like Final Fantasy. In Final Fantasy, you recognize it as shell. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, now let's check the left side. Now, when you see those towers glowing, you don't want to click on them because if you click on them while they're glowing, you'll get paralyzed and automatically be thrown into a battle. And that's bad. <laughs> so you want to try to loot those things when, when it's not glowing uh, yellow. Okay, what do we got here now? Same type of enemies. Uh, Yeah, what the hell, I'll show this battle. Normally, I would have probably just edited it out. But, you know, I might as well... Might as well include at least one or two of these. Kill him! Ah! Uh, Freaking giant crabs! What does this world turn into? Damn it! So powerful. Time, you suck. The steel in this game sucks. Just figured I would mention that. Flare, finish him off. And again, the one thing about this game is, as you probably have already noticed, the battles are quite long. They're going to last quite a while. Ow. Okay, he's dead. Attack, attack, flare. And as you can see, Jansen magic runs out quick. Damn it, I can't get perfect anymore on it. Oh well, he's dead. This we get really good experience. Uh, we're gonna need it for what's to come. I can promise you that. But we're good for now, so. We got all the treasure in this area. Let's just proceed to the next. Double checking. Yep, we're good. Okay, now this area is full of treasure. Just want to make sure I investigate everything and not miss a single treasure in the game. Also, you want to—you'll notice that when you go through the water in this beach area, that you actually move slower through the water. That's normal. There's certain terrain in the game that you're gonna automatically move slower through. So. And we got another seed. One more seed, and I think we can get a, a decent item for. Okay, wait until that stops glowing, and go get it. Yellow bands. Now this, I think we're going to want to equip right away. Let me see. Yellow bands. Grants immunity to paralysis. Yes. This, we're going to want one of our immortals to learn right away. So, I'm going to have Kaim learn it. I'm just going to... Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to have Seth learn it first. Yeah. So we're just going to ignore whatever she's learning, and she's going to start learning that right away. Because the next boss is a paralyzing machine. So take care of that now, not worry about it later. Okay, you can come over here. There's another treasure. Man, getting old real quick. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I think I've showed this enemy before, but if not, I will show it now. These are just a, bi a bunch of giant, uh, I guess they call them worms. They look like slugs. Disgusting looking creatures. Kill him! It's kind of sad how we still can't kill anything, everything on one blow here. But the monsters are fairly weak. Um, we can handle them quite well and uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Dead. Ah, you cast shield, eh? As you can see right now, most of my fights are pretty much the same pattern. I'm not doing anything special. Kill it. Perfect. Uh, I tell you what, folks, I'm glad today's Friday. Um, well, I'm recording this on a Thursday for Friday. But I'm going to be very happy to... Ooh, treasure analysis. Nice, Kaim. Good job. Now, how did he learn treasure analysis if he doesn't even have that equipped? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, now we're going to have him learn. Antidote. Antidote, Bruce. But I'm just glad today's a Friday. I couldn't wait till the weekend to get here. I'm freaking drained. This has been a very draining week. We had a new employee start at my job. And I've... Uh, see, this is what happens. Okay. That's what happens when you click it when it's still glowing yellow. Okay, let's grab it now that we went through that battle. Anti-paralysis herb. And I think there's actually something else here we can get. Yep. They try to be real sneaky and hide it cleverly. Magic luring stone. All this stuff is going to be used to create rings. And actually, I'll show you real quick. If you go to ring assembly, you'll notice, wow, it's starting to pile up. So, eventually we'll actually be able to, to make some of this stuff. But, we'll get to that later. Next screen. Ooh, more towers. Oh boy, I almost went for it. Okay, we can do that. There's a ton of... Look at another seed. Let me just make sure there's nothing here. Okay, there is something here. Wait till it glows. And then goes away. We can get that. Ah. Okay, folks. What the hell? Okay. What I was trying to mention... Before uh, my, that last battle, Jesus, power drink we got. What I was trying to mention is that during our last battle, Jansen learned white magic level 2. So, what did he learn? Let's look at our spell book. He learned Zephyr, which it slightly recovers the HP of all allies, so it's kind of like a prey ability, if you remember Final... Uh, if you remember Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Cure Paralysis, which is going to help us tremendously. And the all-shield spell, which we just learned. We learned, but we couldn't use it yet, obviously, because no one knew white magic level 2. So now what we're going to do is we're going to link, skill link, both Kaim and Seth to Jansen's light, white magic level 2. So they'll all be learning it at the same time. Alright, next tower. Collect all the stuff around here. Make sure I didn't miss any. See, there's one up here. Sneaky. Want to get all the treasure. I don't know if there's anything important. I don't think there's anything important. We're getting a lot of anti-paralysis herbs. But still, it's all here for the taking. So why not get it? There's another seed, see? Now we actually have enough seeds to get that, ver that first secret item. Okay, let's grab this. A slot seed. Tell me it's not worth getting all this. Oh, that's bogus. I freaking got that. That was a bunch of nonsense. I know for a fact that I actually got there in time. Whatever. Apprentice earrings. I forget what that is. Let's have a look. So we're definitely getting a lot of good stuff. Slot seeds, apprentice earrings. 
Enables use of black and white magic up to level 2. That's pretty good. Um, but I want everyone to currently learn what they're learning now, so we'll get to that later. And we have this final tower we gotta get. Hurry! Before we get attacked! Round bomb. Alright. And that's all the secrets for this area. Let's proceed to the next screen. See a boss, Crater Island. I don't think there. Oh, okay, there's a treasure here. I don't think there's much treasure here. Prooms of Despair. Okay, and I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else here. This does not look good! Okay, we have a new enemy here, the magic insects, and we'll be seeing these things pretty soon, so it's good to learn about them as we can now. Just take them out with the basic ground spell. They're nothing too difficult. They have quite a bit of health, though. This thing called charge, which doesn't really affect anything at this point, but they're actually going to be part of our next boss fight, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, so good to learn about it now while we have a chance. Okay, and we reached a save point. Now, unfortunately for us, as you probably already know, I've explained, save points don't give you all your health back, so I'll probably have to actually burn. I can do that right now. You, my friend, you Zephyr, let's test it. There you go. Not a bad little heal spell, if I say so myself. Here, I'll use it again. What the hell? Use another heal. So, he only has 10 magic left. But when we come back, I'm probably going to use a, a ether on him, whatever they call it, or two. Um, they call it mana herbs. And we're also... I'm going to go ahead and learn... Anti-paralysis off-screen. Especially for Seth. So that is all the time we have for this episode. Next time, we will fight the boss. See you guys Saturday. Peace.